Good blocking. I'm going to cut right back outside. There we go. We're up over 100. And we might actually be well over 100. I don't know if they're going to catch us. Yo, so far, me pulling the Kevin Durant and going to the team I just lost to in the playoff has worked out so far. We're sitting at number one. You already know how our first three games of the season went straight up blowouts. No contest. And after back-to-back -back bye weeks, we have Iowa, Wisconsin, Northwestern. In Minnesota, I'm going to try to get through all four of those games today. So let's keep our sophomore season rolling. Yo, new uniform alert. We in the 2023 eggshells. Direct snap. Riggins getting the day started. Got a safety to beat. Spin. Hey, the spin moves don't work too good, but the juke move working just fine. Yo, by the way, I did change the quarters to four-minute quarters just so I can get through a, a few more of these games in the videos. So I'm not taking too long with the season off the halfback stretch dancing for nine yards. I did make some tweaks to my playbook too, so we're not seeing so much Wildcat, obviously in the red zone where it's the most impactful, you'll still see it. I got an angle route, that's where he goes. Beat the linebacker, Duke that safety for the second time today. That man's having a rough first quarter. It's a loaded formation, bro. There's so many bodies out here. Let's see if it actually works. Hey, they parted the sea like Moses and we just got in there just barely. First touchdown on the day, them eggshells are super clean. Defense did their job. I mean, 0 3 Iowa. You could kind of expect something like, oh, we fumbled. Now that's a fumble. That's a legit fumble, too. Can we at least get the tackle? Go chase them down. <laughs> I was about to say, 0 3 Iowa, you expect a beat down like this. And as I'm talking, my talk got popped and fumbled the ball. Third down. Can we actually, oh my, we got the lead. He is out there laying out people. I got quiet because I'm like, yo, I don't know where exactly this play is going to lead. But my big lineman was out there putting folks in the dirt. First quarter has been straight up domination. It's going to stay that way, straight up the gut, walk in, touchdown. It's crazy because we have not seen a pass yet, and I feel like I had more balance in this playbook, so we didn't have to see so many runs. But you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Cut back. Breaking little arm tackles. You know we don't have a stiff arm in the arsenal, but we're still dragging number one out here. Hey, so we'll finally get a pass attempt out of more. I have a delay route. So I'm going to help out here, then I'm going to come back wide open. Look at just gone. The offense is so potent. It doesn't matter who is getting the ball. They just can't stop us. They cannot. Hey, Iowa's so in a little bit of fight. Too bad we got the ball back with a chance to capitalize again. Look at the glitches. Oh my goodness. I should have known something bad was gonna happen. I ain't gonna lie to you. The defensive tackle glitched across the field. And then he threw a pick right to the linebacker. Now do y'all see what happens when I stop force feeding myself the ball? The defense stood up, so that's good. But when I stop force feeding myself the ball, mistakes happen. Look at that. Almost another pick. Now, he was blanketed on that one. That's some good defense. But, yeah, I mean, the moment I start relying on the QB, he might get sacked. Fumble. See what I mean? The moment we retained the ball. But the moment I start relying on these dudes is the moment all the mistakes start happening. Third and 20. Third and forever. I think that's a safety. We couldn't even get this screen off. We are back after halftime. I was hoping they would have got me to the yellow bar. Like, after a little bit of rest, give me one more bar to work with. But no, sir. Still at two. Trying this toss play again. Get that block. Full back with the movement. First down. As long as we put a score up, a field goal, that ain't going to do it, coach. All right. Now we got a little bit of separation on them. Up two points. I was about to say, do I smell an upset? Do I? We don't. We got it. Hey, it was questionable for a little minute, but we did what we needed to do. It's always great when you start the game off with a sack. We do look clean out here, though. Like I said, man, the uniform combos with this team are endless. Hey, you got a wide open, man. We getting all that yardage back first down. Incomplete pass. We're looking for our first carry. The boost. Yo, the speed boost is insane. Just dragging defenders. 21 yards. Hey, you know the Wildcat offense is still a key part of our game. Off to the races. I think we got the first down. Yes, sir. And down at the foe. We're trying to miss direction. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did y'all see that sea of defenders? But Riggins with the handoff. Good blocking. Safety to beat. And I mean, look, last week we was killing that safety. This man actually like he got a head on his shoulders. Nevertheless, at the 34. Dancing in the backfield. Check us out. The juke back inside. So shifty. Yo, Riggins up to 86 rushing yards as we're pulling out the patented Wildcat. Because you know what time it is. We're in the red zone. Got the speed boost. Get that block for me, Velen. Too easy. There was nobody within arm's reach of me. That's just a little bit of gangsmanship, showmanship, whatever you want to call it. Reese Riggins again. Touchdown. So first of all, we get the ball right back in the red zone with a chance to go up 17 zip on Wisconsin. Last year, I failed in trying to break that touchdown record of Barry Sanders. This year, I don't think that's going to happen. If we're getting this one started for four yards. So we have made it all the way down to the four yard line just to have to go for it on fourth and two. 
the stretch. Look, he just demolished that play. We did not get there. Good defense by Wisconsin. That offense ain't got nothing going. As we're getting this started with a screenplay, or not, they tackled me. That's a screenplay. That's a screenplay. They literally tackled me out of the screen. And it pretty much ruined the play. Not pretty much. It literally ruined the play. As the two-minute warning hits. Now, that's tough. That's, hey, that's some high IQ. Technically, you can do it off the play action. So, you know, second and 19. And I had an angle right. He just, listen, there was too much traffic over there. Bounced right off dude helmet. So, we have first and 10. I'm about to say, I might try to take this right through the middle of the field. I did not call for the ball. I don't, that might have not even been going to me. It could have been going to 17. But I'll tell you who it went to. And that's number nine of Wisconsin with the pick. Just like last week, right around halftime, you want to start playing suspect. He was blanking it. How did he even get that to Dickey? I don't know, but it worked out. First down, we moved the chains. You know, I want to work with the wide side of the field. Give me some more room to work with over here. I got. The, I was about to say, don't throw it to me. I got DBs over here blanking it. I'm bracketed. First down. Where was he going? Wide open. Dickey again. Hit him with the no huddle. Let's go. Drive post. What play is that? All right, that works out for me. Let's go. Get to the line more. Let's snap it. We didn't actually have to rush. I forgot. You get a first down and the time stops. Corner route. Wide open. Touchdown. So it is 17-14 after halftime. Three-point game. You know, these teams decide, you know, we're going to come out here and fight at certain times. That play almost got blown up. The juke. Riggins in the open field. Breaking free. One man to beat. Yeah, I tried to go make. I tried to go force the action with him. I ain't going to lie because I know I don't got the speed to burn him. Tried to go right at him. First and 10. Read option. Right up the gut with it, too. Oh, we're gone. Now, that is some nifty, shifty running. No, let me stop celebrating. Let me stop celebrating. <laughs> I think I might have stopped just in time. Reese Ringer's in the end zone. Yo, by the way, what was that purple badge that popped up when I started celebrating? I actually don't know what that was. Meanwhile, Wildcat working again. Juke move. Breaking tackles. Down to the 46. So, they pulled us off the field again, and we're missing the end of this game. One more time because of the wear and tear. But that is what happens when you're getting like 25 plus carries. Add on a few catches to that. And your boy is going to be on the sideline at the end of every game. It was a blowout though. So on we move. As you see the stats, 212 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Yo, so Northwestern it is. Now they got a gothic alternate uniform that I think is pretty clean as well. And we're trying out a new uniform too. So I mean, there's not too many teams that go band for band with us for our uniforms. But uh, they're definitely up there. I, in, in my opinion at least, I think them clean uniforms. Especially with the matte black hat. Hey, our first carry. Let's see what we got in store for us. Try to spin move. I thought we could have broke free. Three yards on our first carry. We're handing it right back to Ringers again. Oh, my. Hey, look. First of all, shout out to the defense. So that first job was over real quickly, but uh, so is theirs. Defense leading the way on both teams right now. Do We got a few. Hey, look. Bottled up. Okay. Look, this might be the best defense I've played so far. And I am. I did not expect that at all. Northwestern came to play. Looking as good as those uniforms. Direct snap. Got y'all ass now. I ain't even trying to juke moves. Just give me some yards. We ain't had too many positive runs so far today. First and 10. Trying to toss play. Nobody got him. Good thing I had the speed. Full back out there with the lead block. We're picking up 10 again. As we're going out on third and three. Might be a wear and tear issue. So it's like we might be sitting down to halftime. 14. Oh my goodness. We in a dog fight in this one, huh? 17-14 at the half. Hey, I'm back on the field though. Two minutes left in the third quarter. And we're ready to make a difference. Or not. Look at the defense. What I tell you. Best defense I've played so far. This is not a joke. Second and 16. Yeah, I definitely got to go over here. I promise you, I have better plays for second and long that involve passing. But I'm not even going to burn a timeout. I'm going to try to get some of these yards back. There we go. Maybe that's why it's on second and long. As we're taking it for a first down. Another carry. Misdirection. A lot of space. Tried to juke outside. I don't got the spin move in us. We got to upgrade that. I'm going to keep saying it until I do it. I got to get that spin move right as we're up to 70 yards. First down. Good blocking. Full back out in front. Receiver get the block. He low-key held me up. As we're getting us down to the 22. Yeah, here go the passing plays. It's about damn time. Like, come on, bro. I don't want to use all my play switches just yet. I mean, I know I got a decent amount, but you never know how these games are going to end up going. Had a delayed route. That might be a touchdown. No, sir, but we're inside the five. Y'all wish I can call it audible because I promise you this is an easy touchdown to the right side with a simple out route or a flat. But from the shotgun with the run, Juke, can we battle our way in there? We can. That's 6'3". That is a 6'3 frame right there, bro. Get up out of here. Wave to y'all. Too little. It's crazy because uh, we ain't cracked 100 yards just yet. We're getting there, though. We're itching there. We're getting close. 
Good blocking. I'm gonna cut right back outside. There we go. We're up over 100, and we might actually be well over 100. I don't know if they're gonna catch us. They got the speed. Reese Riggins has just a little bit more. We're on the board again. That's what we do. It don't matter how long we sit out. You bring us back in the game, we're gonna make plays. We're gonna take the game over. Up to 158, 28, 17. I think the lead is ours now. I think we're good. Wildcat. We got the juke in us. Oh, yeah, we do. Off to the races again. Look at the, hey, look at the wearing tear actually catching up. Tried to hit him with the hezzy. Wouldn't work, but it don't even matter. Pin pull sweep. It's about time they're giving me some of these different plays that I put in this playbook. I got to go back in there and fix it because I'm telling you, I'm not seeing enough. We're trying to spin move stuff. Fourth and one. 28, 22 minutes and some change left. You see the wear and tear again. Always got to watch that wear and tear because you just never know when they're going to sit our ass down. Like, hey, yo, you sitting out the rest of this game. Starting off with a decent gain, four yards. See, right now, we would have the accelerated clock on, and we would be at a two-minute warning right now. But since that's not an option, I'm not sitting here for 27 seconds. I'm not doing it. We're just going to hope we can get some good blocks and use that speed. I know you're hurting, Reese Riggins, but go ahead and get that first down. Move the chains for your team. Read option. I don't even know if Moore can run, if I'm being honest with you. Maybe that's why he normally hands it off, because maybe he can't. Trying to spin move. Oh, we broke free. First down. The chains are still moving. Let's get Northwestern burning those timeouts. Good blocks. Try to juke. Push us forward. But the QB nil should be all she wrote. Yes, sir. Another dub. The undefeated streak continues. Okay, so we are stepping out here versus 4 and 2 Minnesota, looking to advance to 7 and 0, holding down that number one ranking. I was about to say this toss play might get blown up in the backfield. It really did, but we squeezed out four yards. I mean, I'm open, but then I'm not open. But, but underneath, he has Merriweather. Easy first down. A good run defense so far from Minnesota. Facing third down again. I have the angle route. Oh, my goodness. First of all, he dove for the ball and just glitched into a tackle. But they're going to let us go for it. So we're not going to try a toss play. There's no reason to go three yards back when I only need one. We're going straight up the gut. Give me a double team right here, too. You got so many people in front of us. There's no way we don't get this, right? Easy first down. Yo, low-key, we've been bottled up this first quarter. Five rushes, 12 yards. But we've been moving the chains when necessary. There we go. I was about to say, there's no way that big-ass lineman comes out here and get us. Touchdown. Might have been a linebacker. I don't know. He's big as hell, though. But it didn't matter because we actually beat him. Got to the end zone. Your scheduled Reese Riggins touchdown. Now, you know, one big run like that can boost the averages. We have five carries for 12 yards. We're sitting at six for 46. Straight up the gut. Oh my, this is why you wish you had a power back sometimes. A 7-3, right back out here with it. Tried to juke. Oh my, open space again. Down the midfield. I mean, the toss plays are really just killing them. I feel like this has potential to be a big play. That was a crazy speed glitch. First down. We keep trying the outside tosses. Because all it takes is something like that to work. Try to spin back inside. But we're at the five. Now can we cap it off with a touchdown? Honestly, I wish right here they gave me the option win. Because I would definitely get Jordan James involved. Get up off me. Ran his little last clean over. We got to just hope this man does not throw a pick. I don't know why it is, but when it's like about to be halftime, I got bumped off my route altogether. Picked up a few. But when it's about to be halftime, you just start seeing boneheaded plays happen. I don't even understand. It don't make sense. It's Stewart. You with the first down. But it's like, hey, look, he can make a good play like that. And the next thing you know, the next play is a house call. So... You got to be careful with this dude. I'm trying to route. It's not incomplete. Belling did have a step. Yeah, after the incomplete pass, he got a field goal. They added another field goal. So now it is 17-9. So let's see what's going on here on first and 10. Got a delay. Okay, I mean, I guess that works. First down. Forced the issue here because 13 seconds left. We just got to get a big play at this point. Like this. Give me some blocking. There we go. We got a linebacker to beat. Now they got a safety over the top. We took his ankles, though, but we're out of bounds with five seconds. Had to extend that lead. You know, quarterback, one mistake away from cooking us. I got the block. There goes Stewart. He actually ran with some IQ. That's third and eight. Wide open. I don't Look, four and in 48. Not 48, but the other dude that's underneath. They both came to me out in the flat, and they left this man wide open for a touchdown. Why is that? So it has been a rather quiet day, I'll say, on the ground. But at the same time, two touchdowns. And we're, we're leading. Look like it might be another blowout. So now, oh, nice cut. We got the getaway speed. We should have broke that tackle. Should have broke that tackle. Now we can get right back at them with the blast. Up the gut. Good blocking again. First down. You know, it's always funny how 
I'll literally start talking about how my stats don't look that great, and I'll just immediately rip off like a 20 yarder, uh, and then followed by like a, a 10, 15 yarder or something. But screenplay here, do we get it off? We got it. We got a block as well. The juke back inside, I thought I caught everybody. Now, how do I want to really, I mean, it's supposed to go to Stewart. We'll see. It's what I've been waiting for right here. I'm going to just let it go. <laughs> Jordan James with the un impossible catch. And we have third and six. Wide open release. I was about to say, that's all you got to do is just float it over the top. Get up off me. Juke. Broken tackle. Down at the 10. A second and nine. I was about to say, I think we can get there. We got the, oh, they didn't even give us the first down. Third and inches is what they're calling it from the goal line. We're not trying that wildcat play again. We'll go with the direct snap though. And, oh. I was about to say, that might be smothered, but somehow we will go our way through traffic and Riggins on the board again. So, I mean, we really should be done here, but, yo, know, just in case I do break a 95-yarder, you know, why not give it a try? The speed. Yo, they got to stop teasing me like that. <laughs> you get through that first layer of defense and you like, oh, yeah, we're good. You got to remember them safeties, though, especially with the wear and tear. It always happens late in the games. But, you know, why not? Might as well go ahead and run this out. Gaining nine, and that should do it. Now, you know when you see this Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, you know that's the end of the video. I'll catch y'all boys next time we gone.